Hello adventurers, it is Clean Beaches Week. It is from July 1st through the 7th. What you will need for this project is a paintbrush, um, a container full of glue. You'll find this in another project because we will be using it for paper mache later in the month. You will also need a container of sand and a baggie of goodies full of different things that you can choose to put on your beach. You will also need a pencil. I used my pencil to draw out what I wanted to create. Um, as you can see here, I just drew some waves, this where I wanted the sand to go, and then a uh, sun. On the other one, I did try to make it look kind of like the Oregon beach, so you can do whatever you want. This is just how I'm going to do this one to show you how to put the sand on. So what you want to do is you will want to put down the glue wherever you want the sand. However, we are going to be using this container for a different project later on, so I did pour some of the glue into the lid. I did make a mess, so you might want to put something underneath your lid so that way you don't get glue on your table like I did. So you will go ahead and just do what I'm doing here and just cover out, cover whatever you want with the glue. Like I said, you want to be careful not to get any sand in it so that way um, it doesn't mess up your later project for later in the month. So once it is all covered, you will end up taking your sand and you will pour it onto your paper. You will also need probably a trash can or something else that you can pour the extra sand into. It's kind of like glitter if you've ever put glitter on the paper before, you're going to sprinkle it on and then whatever doesn't stick will be extra so it will come off the paper. Um, if you want to use more of that sand later, you might get a bowl or something to pour it into so you have that sand to use and you're not just throwing it away. I have a container of sand next to me so I'm just going to pour it into that. I'm trying to get the sand to cover the whole paper so I'm moving it around to try to cover up um, all that glue. And then I think it turned out pretty nice so I'm going to move on to the next step. The next step you're going to do is you will, and you can see I'm wiping off my hands here, um, you will look in your bag and pour out all the contents and look what you want to put on your paper. And then once you find some things that you want, I chose some shells and some rocks. We've also included some pipe cleaners and some crystals. Um, and basically what you will do for all of these is you will first find where you want to keep your paper for 24 hours because you can't move it or else your rocks and your shells and everything will fall off. Um, then you're going to want to put a huge amount of glue on the paper and on your rock and then cover around the rock as you can see I'm doing here or also your shells um, and then you're gonna want to push down so that way you see the air bubbles come out of it and that way you know that you've put it enough onto the paper and then as you can see here I moved on to my other project that I was doing on this one I made some sea anemone and some um, starfish and some other stuff. You can also see I got creative with my pipe cleaner and all the crystals and I made some waves and under other things. And so I'm just doing the same thing here. I'm just pushing it down. With the crystals you don't need to use as much glue because it isn't as heavy as the shell or the rocks would be. And then once you've done that you want to, like I said before, leave it for 24 hours and let it dry. Thank you for coming and doing this craft with me today, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Hello adventurers, it's Riley here from Adventure Children's Museum, and I'm not at the museum right now as you can see. It is Clean Beaches Week for our first week of July from the 1st to the 7th, so Emily and I are here cleaning the beach. We've got our bags, we've got gloves, and um, now we're going to show you a little montage of us cleaning the beach, and hopefully you can do the same. All you'll need are gloves and a bag, your spirit.
you'll even find shells. These aren't trash. <laughs>